Okay, we're continuing on in chapter 12. They went in. Danny was braced for whatever might be there. There was nothing. Wendy Torrance felt a strong surge of relief. The presidential suite with his cold elegance had made her feel awkward and clumsy. It was all very well to visit some restored historical building with a bedroom plaque that announced Abraham Lincoln or Franklin D. Roosevelt had slept there, but another thing entirely to imagine you and your husband lying beneath acres, acreages of linen and perhaps making love for the greatest men in the world had once lain. The most powerful, anyway, she amended. Honey, 